they send just one person send a message, but that's pretty much it. Last time. But it's not it, I'm not a high traffic streamer. Uh, so I suppose any casual person looking for a stream specifically. making these videos for only you and I so it's any newcomer or person that wants to watch it's none that's not of my interest <laughs> your point but I'm I'm not interested uh, with other people I mean just out of courtesy I've answered but I don't follow it through or anything already on air just looking it up so I can share the link with you in the old main page so just let me know when you're So I'm about to start now. So did you did you look at the trailer of the game I sent you? That's Thor or something like that, I forget. Yeah, the one with the main character being the crow, the Reaper. I was just letting, just, just laying ground as to a conversation that I'm trying to open. Um, I know you've said all that. Just yeah. 
thing I just wanted to hear if you had more to share about it, about the trailer that you watched. I just wasn't sure if it was the same trailer or one similar to it. It's it's I'd say it's relatively a short story game, so that would explain why it's not necessarily expensive. Have another adventure game to your collection. I was very excited just seeing that a crow was the main character. Thought it was cute. sure besides uh, Tears of the Kingdom if there's any other games that you do play on your Switch. spray So wait, I was going to say, I uh, wish there was a way to stream Nintendo Switch games, but I think you need a computer for that.
appreciate the offer. Um, I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with Tears of the Kingdom. Again, it's just you sort of have to have the patience for the game sometimes. That corpse is a victim of those giant hornets. I'm guessing you already connected that. Insecticide, then spray it through that hole. This same hole I was telling you, you would need to avoid the, f the first time your character can try to examine it. Yeah. Exactly. There's a set of different, like I think, solid colored balls that are set on the table that help you solve this particular locked door. Um, just know when I had my phone, I I was just trying to remember, or I took a picture of the of the billiard balls on the table and my way back here because there's also some lamps you're supposed to turn on and you match them with the colors of the billiard balls on the pool table so it's it's a pretty easy comparison to solve this let's try to look for it or I can just go back to the room Oops. Well, for the sake of Getting to see it, I guess I'll go. I just know there was one specific detail that reminded me of you. One of the, one of the particular it's kind of like a candle. It's kind of like a fancy looking lantern. There's three of them and they're just dispersed in this in this room. The good thing is the giant spider that one already killed. So as you can see it's a red uh, it's a red oil lamp. The character has a lighter on the top right side of his inventory and I use it to light it up. And then on the bottom of that lantern you can see it's there's an image that lights up underneath it. Not sure if you can see it. It says the strange silhouette hovers in the reddish light. It looks like cat eye. This could have some kind of meaning, so... Just gonna pick this up. It's a green herb. I'm gonna go to the second one. The second one is right down these stairs. On this table. This one's green. green so a different silhouette comes up it's an eye with three eyelashes on the top and one on the bottom and has yeah and it doesn't have a, a retina I 
first aid box. Well, the last one is right next to the to the pool table. So take out the lighter, do the same thing. So the red lantern with the cat eye reminded me of you. Not that you have cat eyes, but I know how much you love cats. Yeah. sitting the solid colors that are sitting on the table you connect those shapes with the with the colors I mean you can connect those colors to the to the numbers so we saw the red one that's a three the green one was a six and the fifth one is well um, the number five is for the orange so just to keep in mind easier to solve. Like, certainly don't really follow much rhyme or reason either, but it's a lot easier to connect with this. Some of horror is unforgiving, almost like silent hell. And just by the way, just in case you're wondering why I don't go through this particular Supposed floor, but I don't walk through it because there's a hole under. You can see, and because of that plant 44 document that I read, its vines come out of there. And if I decide to cross, it just grabs me, it doesn't kill me, but it, it inflicts me pretty severe damage. Just in case, if you're wondering, if I'm just pretending to be a cat and just like to go up boxes or something. No problem. I just figured that it looks silly that I'm doing that. So, I'm back here. I'm gonna use... So the cat eyes here, I believe that was three. This one right here, I believe was six. And the last one was five. I'm not sure if that is correct. I guess not. Hold on. I'll look for the image this time. shows that I didn't memorize it correctly. And that's also thinking that I might have deleted the image that might have happened, so... I'll just go back and solve it.
part of it. Very much appreciate your patience. I think I very much most time to read it, so I'll give it another go to you. Head back. Let's try to actually memorize it this time. to be orange. Why did it have to be red? Do you know if the cat cafe I'm not sure if you would like to go there. I know you said you wanted to go to the the one s s sort of with modern times. The possible modern times location. Um, so yeah. I understand. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. We could definitely try to be there on the earlier side. That way we can be like first ones to be potentially at the cat cafe. So you can see I managed to open the looks like a laboratory um, small room where conduct experiments but I guess Chris is too stupid to to actually make anything work there but as you can see you don't know much about medicine so there's no point in taking the empty bottle so he doesn't even give it a try um, but this is open now so Inside this room, I used uh, the room key 
for this apartment and I'm just investigating and in the bathroom it's just full of dirty water so and there doesn't seem to be anything in there so as you can see it seems this bathroom has been invaded by that plant 44 that we read about the roots of some kind of giant plant are sticking out of the wall. The shelves are in line with various soaps and cosmetics. They're all umbrella brand products. So there's not much else I can do here. So out even in the in the room. The giant plane is crushing the wall. A swarm of angry moths surrounds it. I know how much you like moths as well. Since the shelf is lined with red books. There's one with white books sandwiched between them. Take it? Mm, I do. Organic chemistry lab experiments. Similarities in the cellular characteristics of the rapidly growing plant infected by the tyrant virus have been reported in previous papers. However, while repeating these experiments, an interesting new fact became clear. We learned that chemical in the UMB family, UMB number 20, contains compound that is toxic to cells of the plant. Have given UMB number 20 a new name, V-Jolt. The calculations prove correct. When V-Jolt is applied directly to the root of the plant, the entire plant should be dead within five seconds. V-Jolt can be made by simply mixing the VP and UMB chemicals in the specific ratio. However, extra care must be taken when handling these UMB chemicals. They have been known to generate toxic gases if mishandled. The characteristics of the UMB chemical are as follows. UMB number 3, red. Yellow, 6, yellow. UMB number 7, green. UMB number 10, orange. VP 017, blue. Vigil, dark brown. And it's pretty much like a recipe. That now because I took that white book, I guess you can say document book, to recover the red book that I already have from the safety room. I'm not sure if you remember me grabbing one. It's that same color room. it very much was and now we actually need it and I should remember that I should have now I have to go all the way back here get it back shotgun that I should be able to acquire but I haven't found it. As a matter of fact, the reason I bring up the shotgun is because the current shotgun that I'm using is not as strong as the tactical one. 
therefore that's going to take me more rounds of shells to take down the end and whatever enemy I encounter. just being six slots. complete the image. So since the bindings of the books seem to form some kind of pattern. Since we order books, yes. So this is a totally different approach. I didn't get to do this on the switch, so it's totally new to me. Therefore, Chris just might die. <laughs> okay, so he gave me the file to work with. It was uh, court services. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so... I do remember I've mentioned about killing a plant. Since we learned that chemical in the UMB family, UMB number 20 contains a compound that is toxic to cells of the plant. So UMB number 20. Given the UMB number, a new name. V jolt. The calculation is proven correct. When V jolt is applied directly to the root of a plant, the entire plant should be dead in five seconds. Okay, uh, the V jolt can be made by <laughs> Oh, 
make heavy note of that. <laughs> the VTOL can be made by simply mixing the VP and UMB chemicals in specific ratio. Okay, UMB chemicals. Proper extra care must be taken when handling these UMB chemicals. I have been noted, yeah. So if I fuck up the handling, it's gonna kill her, possibly. Mm -hmm. So I need to mix BP in UMB. But which of the UMB do I need to mix? It doesn't say. It's chemicals in the ratio. And this UMB. Okay, this is very fun. Okay. That's the problem is it's telling me right here the V jolt can be made by simply mixing the VP and UMB chemicals in the specific ratio. Extra care has taken in handling UMB chemicals that have to be generic toxic ratio. So the characteristics of each UMB chemical are as follows. So it's saying I need to mix UMB and Contains compound. I think it's UMB and VJOLT. I need to mix those two up to make the UMB number 20. The problem is, I don't know which of the UMB it's asking specifically. As you can see here, the VJOLT can be made by simply mixing VP and UMB chemicals in a specific ratio. Yeah, so I have the option of yeah, I have the option of three diff different UMB th three different UMBs, number three, number seven, and number ten. In order to make V jolt, I need to mix it with VP, which is blue. So I need to mix either blue with green, orange, or red, if I'm reading it correctly. Um. So this means Chris is gonna die. No. <laughs> <laughs> or she or they're both going to die cuz if I mix the wrong chemicals I'm going to kill her with gas with toxic gas okay organic jeez I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything yeah, we can, uh... <laughs> yeah <laughs> Whoever decided to make mustard into a gas really hates the world. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> we learned that the chemical in the UMB family UMB number 20 contains a compound that is toxic cells in the plant. So UMB 20. So maybe that's the one it's referring to. And that makes that would make sense. Yeah, I think it would be UMB twenty then. But no, but it's not here on this recipe. Um unless me making UMB twenty means I would need to mix all three. So number three, seven and ten. I'm just yeah, red, green and orange. And then I would have to mix it with blue, the VP. Mm. There, yeah, there's only one BP it mentions. So because there's only one recipe here, does it? I know it just says it just says VP. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the only VP listed, so it's only blue. Yeah. Okay, that might... Yeah. That is true. 
Well, let's give that a try. Red and blue. Red. So I need to grab, I guess, a flask. Acid nitric. That it's stain, the blue one, right? Mm -hmm. well, what would I need? Because this is not, this is yellow six. Where would I get blue exactly? Synthesize VHLs using this chemical. Okay, so how do I make blue? And there's not many chemicals here which I can use with water. I'm really confused. So I have to really formulate all these from scratch? See what I can make with this. I have purple now. Let's see. How the hell did I make purple? <laughs> okay. I don't even think that's the color that was covered. Let me check. No, there's no purple here. <laughs> Is purple something I can mix to make blue? Blue and red? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe, um, mm -hmm. blue and red, okay, so you think water and, no, but I, I didn't pour the yellow six, that's what gave us purple, okay, uh, I feel like if I mix these, it's gonna fuck up somehow. It's gonna kill her, maybe. Mm hmm. As far as I know, all these all these are empty. Yeah, they're supposed to be empty. Like I'm just grabbing chemicals from scratch. In other words, the red one, that one I just mixed it with water. The UMB number three. And apparently, mixing it with water gives us NP. NPs. Zero zero four, which is not even 
not even part of the formula. Like I'm, I'm afraid to mix it with the yellow again because I'm not sure if it means it might result in something toxic. <laughs> uh, uh, fuck it, friend. Blue and red. Yeah, that's the weird part. There is no blue as far as I know. It's only those two jars of yellow, which is yellow six, and this red, which is UMB three. Yeah. Oh, look, I got orange. Num oh, UMB number 10. How the fuck did I do that? Anyway. Now the problem is, how do I make jolt and wait if I made a number 10 damn this, this is why I called chemistry anyway <laughs> okay and I don't know I might just end up killing her I don't know Because these are the only two chemicals available here. And water. Yep. Okay. Uh, you felt this in size features. Okay. So it means I was actually heading somewhere. So I mixed these two. But I mix it with water first. Maybe if I put them just directly together, it becomes toxic. What if I combine it with the yellow one first? That makes green. UMP number seven. If I combine it with red. Huh. So if I don't even, if I don't mix it in the right order, it goes wrong. That's so trippy. Okay, so I did do it for some weird reason. I actually went in the right order the first time. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, like it went... This is exactly how I went. I went mixing UMB3 with water. It got us purple. Then I combined it with yellow 6. It gave us orange. I don't know what else to combine it with to keep that going. It's Right now it's a UMB10. Um, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to mix another. Or Mm hmm So should I mix another one and see if it gives me if I add him if it gives me UMB twenty? it didn't work it sort of it didn't at least kill the formula like I still have one jar of it but for some reason it didn't work it still remained UMB 20 I mean sorry UMB 10 so I guess I'm supposed to follow with a different chemical or one of those two chemicals again see if it gives me something else I just don't want it to kill her if I'm mixing it just randomly I'm just going to try to combine it 
like one chemical after another and hoping it actually gives a better response. Nope. Oh, man. This is torture. Unless we're supposed to combine a different UMB with a different one too. Like it's this is feeling more like Song of Horror again. <laughs> use the tablet? You think so? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For some reason, I got, I got VP, I got VP seventeen, I got blue. I would think so. Let's see. Um, I'll check it again. But this is VP seventeen, and yeah, I suppose I could just use red. Okay. That's cool. There you go. V jolt. There you go. I got it. I think it said it's supposed to look brown, right? Let me check again. Cause it is okay, yeah, it's it's V jolt, so I think I got it. Given UMB number 20 a new name, Vjolt. It says, We learned that chemical UMB family UMB number 20 contains a compound that is toxic to the plant. So, yeah, we got it. Okay. It says, I have to hurry. Okay, so where do you want to? Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I just when I'm confused that she's not she doesn't want to go through any of the two doors I just went through. So I don't know exactly where she wants to take this specifically. I'm confused. Do you want to take this? Because I was thinking she would probably want to take it to the bathroom because there was where the rooch was. Just, uh huh. But she doesn't want to go there. She's saying, I have to hurry. And no different going directly to Chris. She's saying, I have to hurry. I'm like, well, where do you want to go then? <laughs> I don't understand you. Yeah, me neither. It's because. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like it does. It doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. Unless there's something I'm supposed to do with this in the lab. Like I don't know if there's something else that I'm missing. Why is she doing this to me right now? We have what we need. <laughs> what else do you want to do? 
What's this? It's a distinct lily brown liquid. Oh man. No, it doesn't seem to be anything else. Like it's it's only all those chemicals in the water. So I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. Rebecca, you just like you wanted you want Chris to die, what's going on? <laughs> You hate him because I let the other guy die? Like, what's going on? I don't understand. You have to... Uh, yeah, like, I don't... I don't know. She's gonna let Chris die, like, uh... I can imagine the aqua ring, but that's hella far. Residence... Unless there's something else that I didn't read. Oh my god, okay. This is dark brown. That's exactly how mine looks. Bee jolt. The bee jolt is made by simply mixing the VP and the UMB chemicals in a specific ratio, however, the extra chemicals have been. Generate toxic gas disabled. I don't know what she wants to do now. Well, for the sake of not screwing this up, I'm gonna try to look it up real quick. Otherwise, we'll have to do this all over again. Oh my god, I just watching this video just made me realize that there's some writing or some some like basic math written on the wall. <laughs> Cuz we didn't notice that. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's approachable or readable to be honest, so definitely nothing I think we did wrong. It's just funny detail. Is these videos are showing Jill. These have Rebecca. It's so weird. Where does she go with this? Oh my god, I think she is going to that aqua ring. Pretty far. Again, I figured that's the case. The thing is, that's really, really far. Well, I suppose it makes sense that that's the that's the root of it. But God, like how? Just because I know of it. Otherwise, who the hell would know to go there? That was going to be my my last guess, honestly, but I didn't feel confident that was a solution. <laughs> You'll see where it is, but we never actually got there because it's... At least in my previous playthrough, that wasn't... That didn't seem like a logical option. I never needed to go there. I don't hope Chris doesn't die. Well, at 
we figured out the puzzle. <laughs> The hard part would be this part. Again, it's like I've went before, but even the character doesn't necessarily like break down that that's somewhere you would want to be or what you're looking at is part of the plan. So there's a lot of huge unexpected turns that don't really leave you with any resolution. Okay, I hope Chris doesn't die. You probably get to see the sharks. Probably. I'm not sure if they're still. Oh, yeah, there they are. Undead sharks. This is the room. Probably don't need the bottle anymore. Throw it away. Sure. So yeah, this room, you never actually interact here. Looks like the control system, the water tank, but it's broken, it can't be used. It's completely sucked. There's nothing special inside. There's really nothing worth collecting here. That's a bummer. That was weird. Oh no. Okay, I said something bad. See I'm in the pause menu. Okay. 
Okay. Um, I'm gonna exit right now. Yeah, a minute is way too much. Yeah, the apparently the the uh, what's it called the formula that we put together the the J jolt or what's it called the V jolt. Yeah, it, it didn't kill it, but I guess it it did kind of leave it with very little health. Because I didn't take as long as I did that other time. So that's good, I guess. Um, Alright. So. Now. It's dead. I'm going to check how much health I have. Rebecca should be out here. Yeah. Chris, you're okay. Yeah, I think we got to the root of that problem. I owe you, kid. Huh? I'm glad I could help. Rebecca, thanks. Chris, this is Richard's radio. A moment ago, there was a transmission. Brad's still flying around, but I don't think he heard me. Okay, I'll keep the radio. We have to somehow let Brad know about us. I found a pharmaceutical room. I think I can come up with something useful. I'll be there if you need anything. Anyway, I'm glad you were all right. Okay. I'm not sure if you heard that pun that Chris said. We took care of the root of that problem. I mean, he didn't say it like with a big emphasis or anything, but I was like, huh, I know that's a pun. This room is equipped with all sorts of medical supplies. I could pretty much treat any wound. Want me to treat your wounds? Pretty sure he does have a bit of damage, so I just let her do that. Yeah, would you? Thanks. Somebody sure knows how to get a deal. Most of the medical supplies here are from Umbrella. Umbrella? Don't you know? They're only the biggest taxpayers around here. They make most of these medicines right here. Homegrown in Raccoon City. Homemade, huh? That's not suspicious at all. Oh, this is the writing I was telling you about. This is some, there's something written on the wall. 1 plus 3 equals 4. 4 plus 6 equals 10. 1 plus 6 equals 7. 10 plus 7 equals 17. 17 plus 3 equals 20. So I'm guessing that's the formula that we just happen to follow. At the, the end, the last one, 17 plus 3, that's pretty much what you told me at the end. Like, yeah, it's, that's UMB3 plus VP17. Yeah. 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 But we did it all by ourselves without killing Rebecca. Wesker? Chris, you're alive. My words exactly. Where's Jill? Thought you were with her. Yeah, I know. We got separated. I see. Anyway, we better find a way out of here before we turn into zombie food. Got any suggestions, Wesker? We should get a better grip on the situation. 
There must be areas still to be explored in that other mansion. Chris, I want you to check them out one more time. I'll continue my investigation here. Sure thing. Pretty sure that's the most we've seen in cutscenes. I'm gonna leave this thing behind. The room was available, but I never had to interact with it, so that was completely new. Jill. But with Chris, or even using Rebecca, that was very much new to me. <laughs> Scissors and coming of a helmet, so that's why we have to go back to the mansion. Okay, so to get back to the mansion, I have to exit through here. This is Brad. If you can't answer me, somehow give me a sign. Krista Brad, can you hear me? Brad! Damn! Just by the way, the reason I don't just take quiet is because I can see the cutscene playing. I'm just making sure I don't talk while you're watching it. Little snakes. Okay, so I'm heading back to the mansion. Uh. That I 
this hole. Okay. like in the next week. That's the weird part, they didn't have it available to pick up. As in not available to pick up, as in not even an option. Like I know that's very, it's not really like a new feature in online stores. That's why I was like, okay. But I guess, I don't know, well, what's it called, a um, firm mattress doesn't have that option? I thought so too. Again, uh, that's exactly how I wanted to pl plan it out, was look it up online and see if they had it available in the store just so I can buy it and just swing by and grab it. But they. Yeah, there's like, yeah, they can have in a different one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, believe me, I was, I was puzzled by it. But for the sake of not having to go to the store, and since they didn't have that feature available, that means I would pretty much just be gambling if they actually have it there, because their selection of their selection of foldable mattresses only came down to like three. So for that reason, I kind of became hesitant. I was like, well, if I go to the store, what are my chances to find foldable mattresses? So that's that's why I went with the online option. I mean, good news is my brother hasn't hit me with the pillow. But, um, but the good thing is I already bought it, so I'm just waiting for that here and just, you know, go about my plan as I as I have. to meet a, a terrifying creature. killed me. <laughs> it's really fast. Uh, I blew its head off. <laughs> so, I'll just keep the shotgun equipped. And sadly, I don't have the tactical one. So now I have a key with the uh, helmet shaped on it, so I have to find the places that which I can explore with the key. The good thing is it's gonna be it's not gonna take you too long. Meaning to find these rooms it can take a while. Oh crap. Okay, I'm out of here. I went through the wrong door.
Oh yeah, Wesker did need a paper and fix this doorknob. Oh shit, there's more of them. feel with people coughing. It's horrible. I went to Sprouts to buy some stuff today. Um, it's a place I haven't gone in a while, I haven't gone back to in a while. Not because I was avoiding it, it's just not really in the it's not really located like close to me or easy. It's more in Chula Vista and it's on the J Street exit. And you have to go through so like suburban. Okay. Um well yeah, that's uh, sort of like the route I need to take, so because of that I usually don't go. It's not that fast for me to get there or they don't even stay open that late. Um but I decided to go today. Just to we do have uh, healthier options. I know it's Yeah, I figured you yeah, would be a big fan. Um and which I do like it as well. It's just I forget it's an option. I forget to give myself the opportunity to make it an option. And I went over and I noticed that they had like these carton, almost like uh, milk cartons, but it's like smaller shapes of broth, vegetable broth. I thought that was interesting. Like I'm not sure what it would taste like, but this sounds pretty good. something else that I can eat. Oh yeah, I wouldn't replace meals at all. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense. Side. I thought it was interesting.
Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think I do remember. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that makes sense. Yeah. That's an option. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing that. This is equal of south, wolf of north. Uh, open the book, and there's a coin or I guess a metal. Metal of eagle. So I found a metal inside of that book. And let's see what this thing reads. Number 29th, 1967. I can't get out. I've tried every possible way to escape, but only to be faced with the reality that I'm trapped. I've been everywhere. The laboratory with the large glass tubes filled the formal uh, formaldehyde and those dark wet and eerie caves. What can I do? At first I didn't want to believe my eyes, but that familiar high-heeled shoe in the corridor, it was like reflux. One name came to mind, Jessica. I don't want to believe they shared the same fate as me. No, I can't give up hope. I have to hope they're alive. November 30th, 1967. I haven't had anything to eat or drink for the past few days. I feel like I'm going crazy. Why is this happening to me? Why do I have to die like this? I was too obsessed with the design of this ghastly mansion. I should have known better. November 31st, 1967. It was dark and damp underground tunnel and another dead end. But even in the darkness, something caught my eye. Carefully, I lit the last match. I had to see what it was. A grave. But deeply engraved into the stone was my name. George Trevor. At that instant, it all became clear to me. Those bastards knew from the beginning that I'd die here, and I fell right into their trap. But this... It's too late now. I'm losing it. Everything is becoming so far away. Jessica, Lisa, forgive me. Because of my ego, I got both of you involved in this whole damn conspiracy. Forgive me, may God justify my death in exchange for your safety. George Trevor. This name is carved into the small gravestone. George Trevor. There's a switch present. Yes. Stairway. I'm going down there. Well, I hope you're liking the story. Oh crap. No. <laughs> Did you see the spider? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> just... <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh god. So many of them. Oh crap, that one landed. That one went down. Great. We're gonna need these shells. And possibly more. You bastard. Great. Oh, I can see their 
bodies really close. I need to wait until they release most of that. Those weird juices that are coming out of him. If I try to pass by it, they can possibly get me poisoned. God, small spiders, gross. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> Those small spiders look like ty tyrantula sizes. has blown out, switch over, yes. The power supply appears to be functioning again. There are a number of small objects on the shelf. Looking closer you can notice there's a seal of Raccoon City on the broken dish. That's what I'm going to do again. You see the elevator? Yes. Go in. What is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't want to. Oh yay, I blew that one's head off. And the reason why I said no again is because I saw a moth on that window. I'm not sure if you noticed it. You'll see it right now. Yeah. They caught me off guard. <laughs> There's an oriental scroll on the wall, but the picture on it is western style. Not the ones you smoke, and if I had an audience, half of it would just go, aww. <laughs> I'm 
I'm not sure if you noticed those billboards. There's been some billboards on, I would say around Point Loma. I even saw one, I think like Pacific Highway, the exit, that talk about potential harm in a person under the influence of marijuana. I was just glad to see something negative being correlated to marijuana. refreshing to see that like for me it was just believe me I'm all about sure you're you have the freedom to do whatever the hell you want with your body it's just people forget the it's no different with alcohol so you're supposed to have a limit yeah exactly yeah or people that do it at work, it's, yeah, it's, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, people's, People use it very irresponsibly. Yeah, it's and that's pretty much why it was a highlight to see that on the billboard. I was just okay. Finally, someone's addressing this drug exactly how it should be addressed. Like any other drug, you shouldn't be taking it every time you feel a bit of stress. Like it's it was bad enough people smoking cigarettes because those harm your lungs. Harm, well, harm your body entirely, but especially your lungs. But to later see people just really completely unfiltering themselves from using marijuana and just going like, oh no, it's healthier than cigarettes. I'm like, there's still plenty better for you. Just because. Yeah. But, yeah. They want to continue the their freedom to use drugs irresponsibly. It's every bit of annoying. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm What's alarming? Like, am I the only one that sees being sober as a normal thing? Like, no, it's normal to be high or to want to smoke. I'm like, you guys are just forcing it to be normal, but it's not. Mm -hmm. No. Actually is yeah. It's it's ridiculous. It's, or I know. Yeah. Even 
Chris sometimes. He's he's shown it before. Like there's times Chris tends to forget when we say something to him. Or he tends to go through similar conversations over them, like twice. So that sort of becomes like a very strange symptom he presents. Forgetfulness. And the weird part is it's not like he wasn't engaging fully in a conversation, it's just he just plain out forgets. Even that time where I made it clear that I didn't want to stay. Uh, that I wasn't going to be able to stay and help them. And he said okay. And then that same that same time when he showed back up and I told him okay I gotta go. He, he forgot. And Sai was there pretty much just telling me. I remember you told him in front of him. Like, and he just forgot. And that's why for me I'm like that's so st that's an alarming level of forget, like, to forget. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, that's the bigger red flag, yeah. Yeah, like you and with Sai when we were when we were just having that one beer. Um, it's just even the the abuse of the substance of beer for me it's alarming. Like guys, we work with machinery and we can't just be drinking at work. Like it's when I first found that out, I was trying to just be like mellow about it but when I saw it was reoccurring like I thought at first like oh I'm a new member of the team they want to share this beer with me I'm like okay maybe that's just a big welcome and we can just kind of like brush it aside but once I realized they were doing it more often I was like what the fuck this is, this is really really bad like it's like I get we're all like, stressed or some people deal with it that way which I still don't no different how you were mentioning Sai talking the way she does to all of us like sexually well clearly in the borderline of uh, breaking the rules in being in the realm of sexual misconduct that's what they're doing with substance they're like blurring the lines again it's mm -hmm. Oh no, yeah, it's, that's, I mean, the, f 
the fact of the matter is, yeah, they already broken the rules. My my point is they're blurring the lines. Like they're trying to make it seem like, oh no, this is good or this is normal. And I'm like, no, this is wrong. You're blurring the lines and you're trying to justify to yourself that it's okay. And that's, I mean, maybe I'm not saying it correctly, I guess, but I'm not sure if I'm using blurring the lines correctly. Yeah, no, it's... No, yeah, she's, she's broken, yeah, she's broken it, it's... Yeah, I understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly, off the clock, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. she wanted to have a drink with me um, and at least yesterday was a good experience of just letting her know and not that I'm advising her in any way it's just uh, just because we were both kind of enjoying a beer just one beer and we're just drinking it slowly it was just to kind of just open up and present to her this is what it means to have a nice drink with people this is what it means to be responsible when you drink. Like, because what she would do, and what what I would rarely also do, like involve myself like in like shotgun glasses. I forget what they, they would call them, dogs or something. Like, I will have a dog with me. And it's like a very small sample of a beer that you can sort of like shotgun. But I expressed to her like, honestly, that's like, it's not my thing. Like I would do it, like I, I would do it at moments notice, cause I first I thought I was like, well, it's they're doing it like sometimes, but then when I saw they were doing it almost every, like every now and then, I was like, okay, this is going on too often, and I, yeah, like the last time I guess I did it with them could have been like three months ago, it was some time ago, but I didn't feel comfortable in the sense of I was drinking at work and second we're not enjoying the drink we're just there and we're just sipping it quickly and then going back to work and I was letting her know like this for me is something I do enjoy sitting down drinking this beverage enjoying the flavor not just s like you know downing it and just going back to work I'm like that's just that would be the definition of just like, you know, I'm more of an addict than anything. I just like to hit. Oh, sorry, I said again, I couldn't hear because of the noises in the, in the game. I would say like a small, a small sample of it, so I would, I would have to say yeah. Um, 
I suppose. Are you... Are you close to a breeze? Because I can just hear sort of some... I can hear your mic sort of like being hit by some air or something. Yeah, just... Again, not that there was anything wrong with that, just I was wondering. Part of it, probably the most I've done it is two, twice in a month. It was never, at least I never, I never demonstrated that's something that I, I would actually want to do with them. Even sometimes when they would, I would just tell them like, no thanks, I'm good. I would skip on it. Yeah, they do do it sometimes. I mean, they do. S I know. Like the one I could say possibly does it, but mostly like on his own. Is Daniel? Like it. Hmm. Again, not not that it was twice a month. Sometimes I've done it. I think the most twice in a month, but mostly like if it would be more accurate, once a month. And again, that's not even accurate. Like, um, again, that's how unscheduled it was. Or s Even so I mentioned that for some reason I guess they wonder as to why I don't have a drink with them. I'm not sure if so I was making reference of Daniel or the entire group together. Like I, I wasn't sure. There's something handwritten and it's not dated. Nothing's changed. I never thought that this room I designed as an experiment would pay off like this. I can hide here safely for a while because nobody knows about the secret behind the painting. Not even Sir Spencer painting of a mansion in the back of the art room. You wanted to say something, Annie? It sounded like you were like wanting to. I hope you're not 
You're enjoying it, mostly. It would, inter it would interrupt your experience with the game. No. As long as you're enjoying it. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I'm not sure if it really makes much of a difference. She told me she was gonna get high as fuck in the weekend so she can sleep or something. So I'm like, I'm not sure if it makes much of a difference because she mentioned that she was gonna get high on the weekend. Meaning, What's the difference of not drinking alcohol but inclining that kind of recklessness with marijuana? I understand. That. I'm not saying that it doesn't, like it, it falls under something she would never do. More like it's strange how she convinced herself that that's. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I understand. Oh crap, the motherfucker came back. We'll sigh. told you that the one of the bartenders that Sai was talking to uh, they call her Jess from what Sai was telling me they call her Jess and her name's Jessica and she's her girlfriend is Nikki um, and how Sai was telling me that Aaron was saying appropriate things to her Apparently, Sai also told me that Aaron says inappropriate things to Sai regarding, uh, what's her name, the one from the lab, Susie. Yeah, apparently Sai hears things that she likes about Susie from Aaron, about her body. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, he communicates. Yeah, exactly. He communicates that to Sai. So, red flags pretty much. I mean, it was already red flags with Jessica. So now, even red flags with Susie. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, that that is no surprise. It's it's just damn. He, yeah. small comments that he's made about her and what he could possibly he be thinking of if he's when he's looking at her so I'm like this place is looking for fucking trouble yeah that's I have no idea like I was again I was surprised to hear that from them that like they're not doing anything and they're experiencing it first Clearly there's dirt, exactly the right amount of dirt to get him fired, but it's not being s discussed, it's not being said. just tells me like more like a general breakdown of what he is that he hears from him but not necessarily like oh and I quote so I guess he would say like her like her ass because then I was kind of like breaking it down kind of like saying oh you know Susie has like uh, like she has like large hips and whatnot, and I was like, again, I'm puzzled as to why exactly how you're saying they haven't said any of this. I mean, Aaron doesn't say this to Susie, but for some reason he does say it to Jessica. Well, it's the whole thing is it's a fucking mess. more
sorry, I can't hear you because of the volume. right now just because I'm in the safe room